Hello everyone and welcome to Best Side Cycling. It's May, so it's Bike Everywhere Month and I'm super excited because I have a commute again. So I'll be biking lots and definitely be uh, showing you all of that. But as part of commuting, I think something that I've always really loved was my Lumos Ultra helmet. It's like this helmet that has a bike light sort of integrated at the uh, helmet itself as well as like turn signals and stuff. But what's super cool is that Lumos reached out to me and they actually offered to send me out uh, more helmets. So they sent me out this other one, the Kickstart. Um, they didn't um, expect me to do a positive review or anything. They just sort of sent this and just wanted me to make a video on it. So here I am. I don't usually make these type of videos, but for Lumos especially, um, I was really uh, super excited because this is really what I find to be a central part of my commuting kit and I'll go into reasons why, but I have not actually opened this, so you're gonna unbox this together with me. So this is the Lumos Kickstart, which is it's one of, I think, their first uh, models that they've come out and it's the features are pretty different design than what I have here, the Lumos Ultra, and I can talk about the differences uh, that I can see. But yeah, opening that, pretty straightforward here. And here it is. It's the uh, helmet, I have an all black, um, definitely a bit of a different shape and profile. Uh, but I mean, some ways the same, but definitely the back. Uh, it's a much bigger sort of uh, imprint in terms of where the light is, and then even the front, just a wider brim. This one definitely seems to be a little bit more subtle with it. And here, this is this really big triangle. And then opening it up, we have the uh, left-right remote here, just how you control. Uh, the helmet, which we connected through Bluetooth through an app, and then inside as well as we got some of the typical manuals for how to set your helmet, your warranty, and all these different things, which is neat, and as well as a uh, charging cable for the remote, and then this, I presume, is maybe some bands to help keep both some things together. But overall, pretty straightforward. And for the kickstart, it doesn't use a micro USB and actually has a proprietary um, charge outlet in there. So that's what was here in, as well. So that, I guess that's a bit dual purpose. But anyway, opening here on the light, we see, yeah, this one features a much larger profile with a triangle on the back and then here a wide brim on the front. I have the remote here and then this is just all out of the box. So I didn't do any adjustments. I can click it and then that adds that extra profile there to the making a right turn and then we click left then it switches over to left clicking again it changes off and then you usually should be able to change the how the light works by just clicking on it so yeah if i click it once it goes into the super flash mode and then into solid and then into regular flash so yeah definitely super cool i'm super excited to rock this helmet um i think as i'm going to be commuting to downtown a lot more I've definitely noticed that uh, these helmets help uh, just, cars just tend to give me a little bit more room. I think it really has to do with uh, just the level at which they see the light is compared to other lights from like maybe a rear light from cars is about similar. And I feel like it's a lot more visible that way. And obviously like when you ride in night times and this is almost imperative and much needed. So. This is what the fit looks like with this helmet. Let me see here. And as we get this fitted on, what we're gonna do is just take this outside. It's the middle of the night, so it makes a good time for you to check out what this helmet is actually like. All right, so we're outside now in the middle of the night. I am sitting on my selfie stick in order to get this point of view. It's not very comfortable, but it's worth it just to get you guys this point of view, uh, especially since I'm filming by myself. But anyway, I turn on the helmet now. You can just see how effective it is once it gets into the darker areas. I mean, if you're riding in urban uh, places, most likely you'll have street lights like this, but this just goes a long, long way. And I've also noticed that these lights in general are pretty visible even in the daytime and they definitely do help. So I'm gonna turn on the left blinker now, and you can see there's a slight change in the pattern. The middle part goes static, and the left just starts blinking as you're indicating your turn. And yeah, this is definitely just one extra way, I'd say, to just like indicate some of your intentions to drivers. I mean, I don't think drivers, honestly, will completely pick up on it always, but if you're riding with a group of friends maybe, or other cyclists uh, that have seen the helmet before, then that's gonna become a really handy tool to uh, sort of save your hands from having to uh, being uh, too distracted and 
you can sort of keep your hands on the bar. So that's another benefit. But I yeah, I don't solely rely on this signaling aspect for cars usually unless I know for sure that they already are yielding to me because they see the, the, bl the blinking lights. So uh, but here it is again. But yeah, you can definitely see just in terms of the overall position of how it's like it's very visible and very easy for other people to spot you as you're riding but yeah i think that's mainly why i wanted to show here and uh we're gonna go back inside and go over a few more things about the helmet the thing i want to show you is just the app and sort of the features that you can get in there so um here it is bring it up and you can sort of see it on the screen um, once you have it connected, you can sort of configure the light mode. So there's three of them that I was alternating before, but I think you can go into here and actually like go deeper in terms of how you want it to flash exactly. So that's pretty interesting. And then I think for like some of the other ones too, like you can even change like exactly like how extra bright it is. So like you can do a lot of these cool things that you saw from those settings there. Extra settings, there's the, uh, uh, team sync which lets you like have other helmets near you if it's on then they'll all coordinate together and then the automatic brake light uses the remote like and i think like it's uh, probably like a, a slight accelerometer or something where it like if you're braking it will like also trigger the uh, brake light on your helmet so yeah a lot of fun things and then all the typical settings with changing the sounds and then here uh, lumos also offers like different devices that they have lights too. So like the fire, uh, I think they call it the firefly lights. You can have them all coordinated together. And then here is just another option for you to configure the right left instead of using the um, uh, remote little thing. So anyway, yeah, that's not super complicated, but like at the same time, it's nice that it just has that extra level of integration and just lets you make changes like this. So really neat. And then, yeah, I just want to talk a bit more about when I would choose to use my Lumos helmet over my regular road helmet. I think it ultimately comes to when I feel I need that extra level of visibility. So especially on my commutes, um, oftentimes you might get caught out in the dark as you're going out in the early morning and then evening here as you see how late knows that it gets dark super early as well. And yeah, I think just having this extra light here goes a super long way to making sure that you're visible to cars, especially in the busy city where there's just a lot of stuff going on and just uh, your presence there might not be enough. For example, like I ride a lot here on the east side where and I usually ride on a day. So I feel like visibility is pretty good and you contrast out a lot pretty well with roads with like a white helmet like this. But in the city where like there's just a lot of things going on everywhere, um, this is just that one little extra push um, to help drivers sort of see you and everything. So basically it just comes down to for me personally, when I go on like something like a commute where I'm not really worried about my speed or uh, how lightweight the helmet is, because I, I admit having a more lightweight helmet on your head feels a lot, lot better over a long day. It, those 80 grams that I managed to count earlier doesn't seem like a lot, but just being stacked out over you, it does really increase the comfort level. Um, I mean, there's the styling too of the helmets. You probably can find a lot more interesting styles, but in terms of selling more material, um, I would say in terms of safety technologies, this particular Lumos helmet doesn't have the MIPS in it. The, my old uh, Ultra did, so depending on what you need buy. So basically, they might not have as much focus on that. And that's like, in terms of like the amount of money you're putting into the product, obviously a lot of it's into the technology. Whereas this, pretty much all the money goes into with the road helmet probably like it's lightweight, it's style, and then it's safety tech. So this has like this like integrated MIPS thing with the whole shell. So yeah, there's like things that you'll probably have to consider there too. But I mean, I definitely, I imagine it definitely does its job as a helmet, passes all those typical tests. But I think in terms of just preventing incidents and making sure uh, that you're on your way. Yeah, I definitely would pick this one for my daily rides uh, for getting A to B. But anyway, let me know if you guys have any questions down below. Um, I will definitely be rocking this as I do my commute uh, from now on and I'll get a lot more chances to vlog it now, now that I think there's probably a lot more interesting footage as I ride into downtown Seattle and show you all that. But yeah, let me know what you think and I'll see you all in the next video.